Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I've been taking a break from posting because I really haven't been doing anything that's worth, I guess you say, posting. I mean, I've been changing little odds and ends things, stockpiling stuff to, you know, do and put on the truck and just pictures and stuff like that. But, I mean, I really haven't, it has, I haven't driven it. It's basically sat there since uh, New Year's. Um, I have been driving the side-by-side, -side, of course, but of course the one time I try to get a video of like us using the side-by-side -side that I've had for a year and have all of 300 miles on, um, I set the camera up. I'm like, all right, perfect. Got it in the right spot. Wonderful. Check the battery. 80%. Even better. So as, uh, we leave, we get to the trail we want to go on. And uh, I hit record, camera's on 3%. I'm like, oh, well, this is not going to do much of anything for me. And I left the other battery at home. Um, so the footage from this is uh, non-existent. So hopefully I could get some of that because I really don't use it as much as I should, I guess. I mean, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so the truck's been sitting. Uh, I took the grill off. I did something different on the grill because I was... Uh, I wanted to do something that stood out that wasn't like the norm. Um, excuse my neighbor's dog that barks for hours on them. Uh, so basically I took the tailgate off the truck because I don't know if anybody ever noticed, but there was a crease that was like right here, it was dense. Um, so I took that, got that fixed since I'm not using it. So I brought that over to my uh, local paint shop that I uh, use regularly. And they fixed it up for me. And then I got the iconic uh, badge on there. Uh, because the other Dodge logo had, uh, like, the since it was creased like right here, there was chips taken out of it. And I just didn't want to, why well, put the original one back on or get one that looks like the original, you know. So I did all that. Um, and I haven't really driven anything. I mean, I drive the second gen a lot, which is, this was a $500 pickup can't beat that 97,000 on it it is a unit runs and drives great or we've been driving my fiance's jeep that i wish i had videos of us doing everything we did to it but i didn't so there's that but um i'll show you the logo that was on here before it's cold out uh well obviously it's february but see this was the old logo and if you could see the creases right here, uh, you know, I figured why would I even waste my time putting that back on when it's broken anyway. Uh, so I'll just stick it on the back of the toolbox and that'll be that. Mm, oh, got another bumper I got to put on from Tiger Auto. Because uh, the first one I got from shipping got a little dinged up. And I will tell you what, if anybody's looking to get aftermarket bumpers for any vehicle jeep whatever highly 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 recommend uh excuse the wind uh tiger uh i don't know great warranty great company um you know the customer service to me is what goes a long way and they're very responsive uh very very helpful um so yeah i got uh that but today i'm gonna put uh the grill back in that I changed every other one of these out as a spike just because you know I mean it looked really good like that but I didn't want you know what I mean the same I wanted something that stood out and was a little bit different so every other one of these is a spike maybe I'll end up changing doing like a smaller spike here but I mean these do hold the grill together and the screws these came with weren't really long enough to get through so uh, I had to go and get different screws from the local hardware store, lock tighted them, and uh, put them in. And uh, we're going to put it on today, and that's basically what this video is going to sum up. And, uh, you know, I'll take you guys along for the, uh, for the process. So yeah, this is the first time I'm using like this head mount thing, so we're going to see how this goes. Uh, you're going to see a lot of me wandering around like I'm lost. When really I know where I need to go, but I don't uh, always get there as I should. So once I find the, the hood here. Okay. So 
I gotta cram myself in between. Uh, this little area here. And, uh, you know, put it all back together. See, I'm the type of person that, like, I like everything perfect. I don't like, like, if I'm doing something, I want it to be done a certain way. And if it's not done like, ah, I'm not squeezing down there with this. Uh, if it's not done like how I would like for it to be done, I won't be happy with it until it's exactly what I want. So, I'm always changing or doing something that that, uh, you know, I think will look different or is more like the route I'm trying to go with this. So, get everybody lined up here. Oh, boy. I'm assuming that I have the battery tender uh, wedged in over there, which I do, so that's good. So I'm going to try to tap uh, these clips in over here and then go tend to that over there. This video is basically going to be a whole bunch of me walking back and forth. I can't wait to get a garage. I have something that I don't have to do all this in. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a neat little, you know, do-it-yourself project where I try to make a carport into, a, I think, a garage, obviously. I mean, it didn't, it's not going to look like a garage, but I mean, it doesn't look terrible and I don't have doors. And I never finished the bottom because, you know, priorities. Um, so basically I just never finished it. And there's obviously no goddamn door. There's a screen door here. You know, it doesn't end. I will tell you what. So as I'm getting ready for show season and getting all this stuff done, you know, I'd like ideally to just get in the truck and drive it this summer and not have to do this and do that and just make life easy, you know, for once. But as most of you know, life doesn't always go easy. So like right now, I'm struggling. Uh, but yeah, so the truck has not moved. I mean, it's nice, but you know, you, there's always those people who will ask me, oh, don't you, wouldn't you prefer to drive the newer truck? Believe it or not, the older truck is a lot more comfortable. Like, just to drive in it. I mean, I don't drive it very far. I drive probably 15 seconds to work every day. But, I mean, like, to actually drive, you know, a truck every day. I mean, it's more practical than this one. This one's not very practical. Which I kind of... When I started out, I thought, you know, I'm just going to do a nice, uh, simple little thing. And it just never... It plays out like that. It really doesn't. You know, we started out 12 wides and, you know, a level. And then, you know, per usual, got all my gear wrench stuff here. I love this. I mean, per the, the tools are worth more than the boxes. But I mean, whatever. For sitting in a carport that obviously does not keep rain or anything else out, it does the job. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you would think, like, keep it simple, don't go bananas. And then I tell myself that every time, every time I do something, you know, don't get stupid with it, you know, keep it minimalistic, you'll be happier, and then come to find out, I'm, you know, never really content with anything until it's something that's completely ridiculous. Um, to the point of no return, like, you can't, I don't use this truck like a truck, you know, most people 
cost you for that. Oh yeah, you got a truck, you don't do truck stuff. Well, I mean, I have that truck, which is obviously, you know, a little bit more clapped out, but you know, it does its, it does its job. You know, it gets me from point A to point B. It's reliable sometimes. I just had to do a bunch of work to that one. Um, but yeah, no, the reliability is there. I mean, this truck is, don't get me wrong, this truck is nice. But it's not, like, something I'm going to take and throw mulch in the back of and, you know, destroy. Because of, you know, why would I do that when I have truck B? Well, actually, it's truck A, if you think about it, because it was the first one. You know, truck A that is, you know, that I'm not making payments on, that I'm not, you know what I mean, so invested in. Where, you know, you do a couple things where you, you change the oil, you know. I, I only put maybe, may, I, we put more miles on this than we do on that. Uh, or that, obviously, because it has a more. But, I mean, for $500, and I got it with 82,000 miles on it, one owner. And I obviously changed some stuff on it. But it's a good running truck. I mean, we drive her Jeep a majority of the time, which is why it looks how it looks. We went yesterday, we were all over the place. But, uh, I mean, I don't really use this but i mean you know what i always tell everybody when they ask oh you know you're paying for that well yeah here's the thing i'm paying for it you if you want to make my payments every month for the next four years have at it you can make my payments i mean i don't say it to be like you know what i mean a jerk but you know don't sit here and ride me because you know something i'm making payments on just like the side by side oh you know you guys even go out on that oh what happened to you know, you're going to use it all the time. Well, you know what? If you want to make the payment every month, have at it. You can tell me when I can and can't use it, when to use it, how much I should use it. But that's how, you know, people are. Nobody likes to see anybody doing a little bit better. Nobody likes to see anybody getting ahead. And it can't be like that because, you know, you want everybody's life to be miserable? Well, that just shows how, you know, miserable your life is. So, yeah, uh, that's on. So let me switch to uh, the handheld and we'll get more footage of it. So yeah, basically everything that's, you know, new. I'm starting to change little things here and there because we're at like the end of things I could possibly do to this. I mean, besides like getting a skid plate for the front because those things hanging down are ugly as hell. Um, we finished my fiance's Jeep. That's all done. That's on 37s four inch lift like just little things she wants to get uh powerful like steps for it so we gotta get those i'll be doing a video on that because i put them on this but i didn't record that which it would have just been a whole lot of me complaining because i will tell you what they are not fun so that's the daily this one sits this i drive periodically and we drive that basically every weekend or wherever we have to go we take that because that is substantially more reliable than that as you guessed. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, maybe a wrap's coming in the future. We're gonna get a new tunnel cover. Uh, I gotta get a new hood because from the factory, there's this little bit of rusting that's going on underneath the paint because it's not, uh, like the seam right here is actually open. So, hood, tunnel cover, and then wrap because I don't know if I'm gonna paint it. Paint the hood. I'm getting tired of paint, I really am. It's I've gotten a number, of, like when I got this, this came with mud flaps on it. So this had the factory mud flaps on it. So when I did that, I took the mud flaps off and right here, there's PPF here now, but right here was a nice line from the mud flap actually rubbing uh, the paint. So as you guessed, there's a mud flap in the back. So the mud flap that was in the back actually rubbed the paint here and uh, it rubbed over here, I mean, my detail guy tried to buff it out as much as he could. That is a scuff there. Tried to buff it out as much as he could, but, I mean, you can only get so much out when it's into the paint like that. So, um, yeah, I'll try to get a couple more videos of doing driving this, because this, 
It's actually, it, it, it is fun. I had quads for uh, a number of years. And I finally got one of these. And I will tell you what, it is a life-changing experience. Um, so I'll try to get more videos of that because right now this camera is even dying now with this battery. And this is the new one. It is just that cold. So, with all that being said, that is basically the update of what's been going on. And uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Have a good week.